Hi everyone, it's Heather at Little Bird Blythe. Today I thought I would show you how to make a really cute little toy for your Blythe doll. I make uh, little felted toys sometimes for my dolls and also for my daughter's um, dolls. This one actually was made um, for, for Christmas for her favourite teddy bear and you can see it's a little teddy, it's a felted teddy and he's got a little scarf on and he's really cute but he was actually quite simple to make uh, and here's a sausage dog as well uh, that is often seen with her teddy bear but obviously they're quite small and they're blithe sized um, so they're perfect for your dolls as well so I thought I'd show you the quick way of making a little teddy bear now not everybody will have these supplies on hand um, but uh, if you are crafty like me you may well have some in a drawer somewhere or feel like doing a little different craft maybe this time um, so to make the process of the felting a little bit quicker you can use some thick felt uh, so this is pre-felted it's actually synthetic felt but it's it's quite thick it's about um, sort of two three mil thick so it's quite stiff um, and I'm going to use that as a basis for the teddy bear's um, legs and, um, and arms because that's probably the most consume, time consuming part of making a little bear um, is shaping the, the little tiny bits of it so this just makes it a little bit quicker so if you've got some felt that's a little bit thicker then that's great for cutting um, the arms and legs out of but if you haven't got that you can actually make the whole thing from scratch using felt roving which is um, sort of lovely soft um, squishy wool uh, that you can felt yourself using a needle um, obviously you can use this with wet felting as well but I use a needle for this because you want to make uh, a smaller item so wet felting it doesn't really work um, that's another colour, so that's the colour that I use for the teddy bear uh, but I thought to be able to show you I've got the white because I've got some of this white felt available I've also got another piece of felt which is a um, thinner synthetic felt and that's for the teddy bear's scarf and that's really easy to make um, so it's just a strip of thin felt and I cut a nice even strip and then just snip some tassels in the end, some fringing on the end to make the little scarf. So that's that. And then you can attach that afterwards. I actually sewed mine on so that it didn't come off. Right, so we're going to make some little legs for the teddy bear so we'll cut some strips for the little legs and we're going to make some arms so we'll cut a couple of little strips for the arms as well the arms obviously won't be quite as long as the legs so I'm going to cut them together so they're fairly similar looking a good pair of scissors for this so we'll use those for the arms they don't have to be perfect and for the legs we'll make little oops got felt going everywhere just round the ends a little bit two legs and two arms by no means perfect but it's a good basis to start now you can also make a, um, a torso um, but I'm not going to I'm actually going to felt uh, the items 
from scratch so we're going to add those afterwards so for felting you need a felting base and this is a brush uh, felting base and I use a, a single needle or you can also get these um, which have got a protective sheath on so you don't hurt yourself um, and that's by Clover, that's a tool by Clover and it's actually got several felting needles in there it's actually five felting needles in that set so you basically are just pushing that in and you, as long as you keep your hands out of the way you're not going to hurt yourself with the sheath on there when, you, when it comes to fine work, using a felting needle you have to be very careful because if you do jab yourself with this needle it does hurt and it does happen to me I do hit myself with the needle from time to time so there you go, there's a warning it, it can hurt if you hit yourself try not to hit yourself with the needle so I'm going to make the teddy bear's tummy so what I've done is just pull a um, a blob sort of cotton wool ball uh, a fluff and I'm going to felt the little tummy so the more you jab it with your needle the more compressed the fibres will become I need to pull it out of the um, the felting base from time to time because it will go flat the more you hit it I think I'll add a bit more belt to that so that's like the middle so now we're going to add a little bit more of the roving around the outside you can get little leather protective leather gloves or um, sort of finger ends so that if you do hit yourself it doesn't hurt because it doesn't sort of penetrate that this is a very very rough way of doing it I'll keep my hands out of the way I'm just making a basic tummy shape single needle now because I want it to be fluffy on the outside so I don't want to over felt it and soft I 
do need to keep your fingers well out the way because it does hurt a lot if you hit yourself and it will draw blood. So I'm just making a bit of an oval. For the teddy's tummy. <coughs> Excuse me. Right then. So now what we're going to do is just put uh, enough together to make the teddy's head. Just for speed, I'll use the multiple needles. Gather that round and add some more fur to that but before I do that I'm actually going to make the ears which I'm going to have to use my single needle for I think. Two ears, and I'm going to make a little nose.
Okay, so here's the Teddy's face. We're going to wrap a little bit more belt around, I think. Actually, that's size wise. Oops, see, I got myself there. Am I bleeding? No, I'm okay. actually buy felt balls and you can um, wet felt little balls or beads so that might um, be a good way to cheat um, to use those perhaps to build your bear up build a bear uh, you could use the bead as a head couldn't you potentially This won't be perfect, obviously, because I'm trying to just get it done quickly. The camera. But it gives you an idea of how it's done. Right, so. Oops. So, uh, the body, the head is a little bit bigger than the body. Um, that's just because I thought with it being a blithe teddy that might look cute so what we've got to do now is attach um, the little pieces uh, so I think I'll do the face first so the little nose for the teddy is going to go there so we'll just attach the nose on his nose or we'll pop his ears on here Decidedly ropey, but oops, that's the computer turning off. But it'll give you the idea, won't it? So what I do is take the leg and pop it on the side of the body and then just use a little bit of roving 
to wrap round that leg and then felt it in place using that roving. So there's his legs on and then exactly the same for his arms. So there's his body, it's coming together quite nicely. And then we're going to attach his head just there. So what we will do then is just use again a little bit of roving. This will work, I will.
little bit more around there. His arms are on quite secure, his legs are on fairly secure, needs a little bit more work around there. But I think for the purposes of the demonstration that's, that's about done and I'll tidy him up off camera. So that's what the bear will look like and then you will attach his scarf like so using a bit of thread. Um, and uh, as I have with this teddy here, I would sew his features on using some embroidery floss or thread, uh, so that he's um, he's got an, he's got eyes. You could use little beads, I suppose, but he'll have eyes and nose and a little mouth as well. You could always use a little tiny bit of pink felt in his his ears as well. So basically, that's how it works. Um, I hope it wasn't too long and rambly and I hope that you got the general idea. Felting is a lovely way to make soft toys for your dolls but obviously these wouldn't be appropriate for young children because they're so small um, they could be a choking hazard um, and also do please be careful if you're using um, the needles because they are very very sharp and it does hurt if you hit yourself so um, if you are going to do this do it at your own peril. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed uh, a quick look at how I make some Blythe toys and I hope you're all having some dolly fun today and uh, if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to my channel then please do consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell uh, so that you're told when I upload future videos and I'd appreciate a thumbs up uh, if you don't mind, if you've enjoyed this video. So thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.